And one of the problems that was confronting the community when I arrived was the uh, a family had lost a child. Uh, and there was a section called Babyland at Evergreen Washelli Cemetery out Aurora Avenue north of 125th Street that um, did not want to have the child in Babyland or they accepted they wanted it segregated. And so the community was up in arms over that. My wife and I ran into some, uh, went to a few restaurants where we weren't accepted. We spoke up about that. We tried to buy, we lived the first six months in the parsonage that the church had right next door to the church, but we wanted our own home. So we finally found a home in the Madrona area and the neighborhood was just changing at that time. But many places where we looked like that, uh, Mount Baker, Mott Lake, some parts of Madrona, then this in 1958, did not want uh, black people. I don't get caught when people of color because that's used as sometimes a ruse against us. We accept people of color, but I always ask the question, what about black folks in particular? Because they seem to be anchored near the bottom. So we had a struggle with that when we first came. So I knew that uh, I like Seattle. I like what I saw. I like the people. I like the church. But I knew there were some struggles here and some that we were going to have to face up to.